It's the end of the year. Everywhere on TV, couples and Christmas trees, gifts wrapping in cheer. Just the worst time to be with someone special. In all the movies, there, kissing in the sky. Good morning, everyone. Holding hands and it's November 1st, so. You know what that means. I don't know if that transition was good, but it's officially Christmas time. This actually says dead inside, but still jolly AF. It's not bad. It's currently the only Christmas sweater I have that is clean. So that's right, guys. It's Christmas time. If you know me, you know that I love, oh God, please don't. If you know me, you know that I love Christmas probably equally as much as Halloween, but especially so this year. I'm just like really feeling like I need the Christmas spirit this year. And I'm so excited to just be in this spirit. For me, Christmas starts November 1st, always, no matter what, no matter how spooky. And people in my life are always like, you love Halloween so much. It's like your personality, it's like your thing. It's like, yeah, but so is Christmas, you guys. So is Christmas. I love Christmas. It's so good. I can have more than one thing so oh god please don't look at my face it's really dry and i already lost a nail so you guys today's plan i want to start taking the halloween stuff down i have work i have homework um some planning to do i was doing the rory gilmore reading challenge but by now i think i've scrapped that because i only got one book into it and that took me over a week and it kind of put me in a reading slump so that's that we'll do that video next year i guess but the plan is we are going to start decorating but first things first you guys i have to go moisturize my face because it's super dry this year um it's like getting really flaky around my like around here and like on the sides of my face and like on my neck and my face feels really tight and I don't know why, so if anyone has any really, really good, like, intense moisturizers for dry and flaky skin, can you let me know? And let's get to taking this Halloween stuff down. I'm, I'm just not feeling spooky mood right now. I really need some Christmas spirit, so let's do it. I'm gonna start at the table because this is where we're gonna put the Christmas stuff as we bring it in from the garage. But as you can see, I have some stuff to take down over here as well. So let's get cleaning, I guess. miscellaneous like wall plugins from Bath and Body Works that make the house smell good. We don't have any Christmas ones so we're just gonna have to resort to switching to the plain ones. I have one Christmas one actually one. Um, I even started switching over some of the hand soaps to Christmas hand soaps. We don't really care about Thanksgiving in this household I'm gonna be honest sorry but it's actually 2 30 so I have to leave for work like right now so when we come back later tonight, we're going to put this stuff away and hopefully even start decorating for Christmas. Okay, you guys. So as you saw last night, when we got home from work, we didn't do any actual decorating or put a, putting away Halloween stuff. We just watched an episode of the Santa Clauses 
and then Connor fell asleep and then he woke up when I got up to go get food and wanted me to make a quesadilla and then I came here and did homework and then basically we did not do anything else last night. Connor is also, I think, in the field for the day. I don't know if he's either coming back tonight or tomorrow morning. So the goal is to get the mess of Halloween stuff put away and to start bringing the Christmas stuff in. So we are gonna go and we're gonna get a nice little holiday coffee. I know that they have peppermint mochas all year round technically. Also, look at the fit. Okay, well, and then my socks are Christmas. My socks are fuzzy Christmas sloths. And then this is obviously Buddy the Elf. I love the Elf. I actually wore this yesterday. Call me Lizzie McGuire because I'm an outfit repeater. <laughs> Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. But I worked at two different places. Yesterday I worked at one school, today I'm working at a different school. So I feel like I have the right to outfit repeat. And I don't care. It's snowing, so I'm gonna be driving a little slower and I'm a little nervous on the roads. But it's snowing, which I like the snow sometimes. Not all the time. Okay guys, so other than a few miscellaneous Halloween decorations like wallflower plugins from Bath and Body Works, hand soaps, and Marvin, our skeleton, all the Halloween stuff is out of the house. I feel really hot, my brain's not working, and I really need to eat something. So I'm really quickly just gonna put some of the Christmas stuff on the table. I can't bring in all of it, like the Christmas tree yet, cause that's kind of heavy. And then we have like three boxes of like garland or whatever to hang up, but it's like really intense, like Michael's garland that A, is huge. B, is messy, like it glitters everywhere. And C, it's like heavy. I don't know, does that tie in with A? Whatever. So we're gonna put as many of the Christmas things I can bring in on my own on the table. And then after that, I'm gonna take a break and eat, but then we can start decorating. I'm, and we do have to wait for Connor, but that's just a little side thing. Also, can I show you my mug? You guys will not believe how cute this mug is that I found at Michael's the other day. We actually went on um, Halloween to look for Christmas stuff. We're not gonna talk about it. Look how utterly adorable this mug is. Like, shut up, are you kidding? Also, it's huge. Like, isn't this so cute? I love it. So yeah, we're gonna start putting the Christmas stuff on the table and then mama's gonna take a break cause I am really tired. I need to take a minute to sit down and eat my leftover Subway. So let's do this. Hey you guys, it's time for a break. I am exhausted. I have all the Christmas stuff up on the table, or most of it, and then this is like Christmas wrapping stuff as well as that bag right there. So now it's time for me to eat. Take a damn break, I'm exhausted, bro. Ideally, I would love to get some of this stuff put up tomorrow at the latest. Connor should be home in the next three hours. So I think for now, I'm gonna sit on the couch. I'm gonna eat, maybe do some homework and watch a little bit of YouTube. That really took it out of me. I am very out of shape. So that's fun. All right, I, I'll see you when Connor gets here. So I got this Disney jersey. It's just a cute What do you got? What's, what's going on here? Got a, a present for you. <laughs> Is it a new Christmas tree? No, it's a box and a shit Christmas tree. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, you guys, we just pre-filmed the first Bookmas video of the year. Um, this was the fit, just some like little shorts, my buddy the elf crew neck. And then this is actually a scrunchie with bells on it that was, um, it came in like a scrunchie pack that was actually an elf scrunchie pack. I love it. My hair's greasy, please don't look at that. Tonight is hair wash night. I'm just holding off for as long as I can. But now we're gonna start tackling some of this. Connor and I agreed that we're gonna wait to do the tree until he can be here for it. And we wanna do it in early midday area because we're gonna try to take some self portraits while we do it. But that doesn't mean I can't get everything else situated. I already did some decorating on my TV stand mainly because I needed some Christmas decor in the background for the pre-filmed video. So, you know how it goes. But now I just cleaned my front door and I have like a bunch of um, little like wall decals. They're super cute. Uh, I'm gonna have to put some of these up. I don't really know which ones I wanna put up, 
I kind of want to maybe put some on the back window, but the thing is, is like the back window at least, it really doesn't do anything because it would have to be put on outside and then it's just gonna like fall off because it's so cold because of the, um, the screen. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the windows yet. I don't know if I'll be able to, to be honest, but I can do the front door. So let's do it. like a whole moment over here i had a specific hot cocoa like bar kind of sign and i have exactly the place i want to put it it's gonna fit that spot perfect but i cannot find it and i do recall when i put my christmas stuff away last year i found out like two months later that i had forgotten to put it away with all the christmas stuff so it just stayed up all year round which means i i think i took it down at some point when we were moving obviously but I don't know where we put it. And I've looked everywhere I can think. We have one more box at our friend's house, but I know it's not in there because I went through that box. So now I'm sitting here wondering if I'm dumb or if I'm just, it's, if it's in an obvious spot, I haven't checked, maybe on top of the fridge and I'm just being stupid. I, it's really driving me bonkers, I'm gonna be honest. And I have been hyper fixated on finding it. Somebody help me out here, I don't know what to do. This is driving me bonkers, you guys. I I don't know where the sign is and it's driving me bonkers. Okay, you guys, so basically I've decided that for the rest of me decorating, I'm gonna stop interrupting and I'm just gonna, we're gonna montage it. Also, this is the area I was talking about where my little sign needs to go. Can't find the sign, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I've decided from here on out for the rest of the video, even if it spans days and weeks, I'm not gonna talk until it's done, or at least until we move on to a next, to like the next big project, which I would assume is the tree. I'm gonna call it for the night at least because I'm going cuckoo bananas trying to find the sign and I'm not finding it, it's upsetting me and I have stuff to do anyways. So I'll check back in after I've decorated pretty much everything. Fun times. Christmas trees, gift wrapping and cheer. Just the worst time to be with us. Someone special in all the movies there Kissing in the snow Holding hands and mittens Baking together at home Not like the movies when I'm walking in the snow Cold hands and mittens Eating gingerbread home alone I dream of December nights Kissing under bright lights Snowflakes in my head Carols playing in the air I dream of December nights Kissing under bright lights Red wondering what being a military spouse is like let me just clue you in real quick i got all like ignore this this part's not supposed to be here but i got all like cuted up cute little christmas outfit i did my hair i did my makeup i got all excited to decorate the christmas tree with connor and we were supposed to take some family christmas pictures because i do photography and i could just set my camera up on like a timer and I was so excited. And then when he's getting his hair cut, he gets a call that he's to go on into work. Um, when he, they told him he had the day off and everyone else is out of town. Mm. And I'm mad. It ruined my day for a solid hour. And we just said goodbye to one of our friends. He's PCSing out. It was really emotional. <laughs> I'm getting like teary eyed right now. So that was supposed to be our kind of like feel good activity of the day, but no. So I am done waiting. I'm gonna do it myself, and if he gets back at a decent time, then we'll take pictures. Right now, your girl got a Stan Lee. So I'm gonna fill her up, drink some water. This thing's hefty, look at it. It was a birthday gift that um, didn't come in time for my birthday party. Look how cute. It's the size of my head, but it's still cute. I 
I normally don't like drinking water straight from the tap because last time I did it made me actually kind of sick, but we don't have a Brita filter or anything like that. So tap water it is. This thing is low key kind of heavy. It's like 42 ounces of fucking water. I'm about to be so hydrated. Let's just start decorating. I'm, I gotta, we gotta get started, my man. Okay, so we have a quick teeny tiny little haul for you guys. We went to Walmart today and picked up some Christmas stuff. So we have these like clear icicle lights that Connor was dying to get to put outside. So we got these, we're hopefully gonna hang them up soon. Not sure when, and then we got this, um, which is a Christmassy kind of bed set, which this is probably super weird. We, this is the first bed set we've ever bought. Like it comes with like pillows and a comforter. And this is the first one we've ever got because we normally just have really big like Costco blankets that were like $30. And um, so we figured it was time. It's so soft though. Like I just love it. So we'll hopefully get that this put on. I have to change the sheets and everything, but I don't think it'd be too bad. So I'm super excited to start decorating. We actually have two trees to decorate. I wanted to get a new one that was like different from last year, but he, the one he got, it was on sale, which was great, but it was white. And I'm not a fan of white Christmas trees and I don't want it in the main living room. So <laughs> putting that upstairs because he wants it to be seen from like the road. But now I have to clean all of this. And I'm really tired already and I haven't even started, which is why I wanted Connor to do this with me, but we all know what happened with that. So I guess it's time for me to get started. I'm just going to time lapse it. I really don't want to, I don't want to put you guys through that. Okay, so let's just get started. It's the end of the year. Everywhere on TV, couples and Christmas trees, gifts wrapping in cheese. like garbage because it's an old tree that I got for like $30 at Walmart <laughs> so it's not the nicest and a couple bulbs are out but it's only a couple bulbs versus last year where the whole bottom half of the tree was out and it took me an hour to find which bulb was the reason why so that's good but now I have to figure out what to do with the wi-fi box because it's plugged in next to the tree I'm thinking about getting a box with a false back and making it look like a present and just sticking the Wi-Fi box in there. So it looks like there's a present under the tree, but it's really just the Wi-Fi box. So we're gonna try that out and hopefully it works. I'm watching the new season of the Santa Clauses. It's a little cringy. Definitely doesn't have the same magic as the original three movies or even the original two. I mean, the third one was good. It just wasn't like the first one, you know? It's still so cute though. And I do love Tim Allen. But anyways, let's see if that little Christmas present with the false back kind of situation even works. I really hope it does. I feel like it could be super cute. And then I still have to actually decorate the tree. So we're almost done. That's good at least.
Okay, you guys, so we've put up pretty much all of our decorations. We still have some that are gonna be a bit of work to put up. So we might include those in maybe like a different video, but we just had Friendsgiving here last night. So we like put up some last minute things, but I think we're gonna call this video quits because it's gonna be a long one. It's mostly gonna be just me decorating which is so cutie and so fun and I love it, but we're pretty much, we pretty much have all our decorations up minus a few that I'm gonna need help with and that we've been procrastinating on. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bookmas is so far going so, so good. And I can't wait for everyone to see what we have next. If you have any ideas, comments, suggestions, questions, anything like that, you know where to put them. All of my links are down below as well. And I really hope to see you guys again for some more Bookmas videos and for the future. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for clicking. I love you guys. I can't wait to see what we have in store and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye everybody.